morning and welcome. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Larry Tunkel. I'm one of the FRC directors from Long Island. And we just wanted to get together and spend a few minutes. Uh, I want to thank the teams for their participation this year and to give a shout out to our sponsors who uh, came through and supported us even though we couldn't find any live events this year. As you all know, because of the pandemic, uh, last year's events were canceled and this year's events got transitioned into virtual technical challenges. And uh, because uh, first wasn't sure how many teams would be participating, they combined us with the rest of New York and Quebec for the purposes of presenting the awards. We wanted to spend a few minutes with just us at Long Island and uh, give some highlights of what our local teams did and then uh, give our sponsors an opportunity to show what they do and how they support FIRST. And to that end, we have Mark McLeod. We'll talk about his experiences working with some of the teams and to introduce some team videos. And then Bertram Dittmar, our executive director, will uh, introduce some of the sponsors. So now I'd like to turn it over to Mark. It has been a really challenging season for our local FRC teams. Those challenges included game design, where you design the game we might one day play, the innovation challenge, where teams pick a real world issue and develop an innovative solution. Infinite recharge at home, teams who had a 15 by 30 space showed off some serious robot skills. And the traditional chairman's Woody Flowers and Dean Lewis sport. Due to various state and school district pandemic restrictions, not all teams were able to meet or compete. And the robot challenges also required having our own wide open space. Here's a glimpse into what Long Island teams were able to do this season. 139 teams were in our Super Regional, consisting of Quebec and New York State. 23 of those teams from Quebec, 34 from Long Island, and 82 from the rest of New York. 29 Long Island teams did at least one event out of the 51 teams we had in 2020. 18 Long Island teams submitted for at least some of the five at-home robot challenges. 22 teams entered the game design challenge, 14 were part of the innovation challenge, and 11 submitted for the chairman's Woody Flowers and Dean List Award. In the at-home skills challenge, teams were separated into groups of 30 teams mixed from anywhere in the world. Teams were ranked by their best results in three of five categories. A perfect score in three events was 450 points. We'll show you some team examples of scoring videos in a few moments. First, let's recognize some of our local top finishers. 1468, the Jaybirds from Hicksville are semifinalists in the Innovation Challenge. 870, Team Rice from South Hole, and 1796, Robo Tires from Queens Technical High School, who we think of as the Long Island team, both finished as silver medal finalists in their at-home skills group. 870 South Hole had a final score of 449.66 out of a perfect 450, 34 one hundredths of a point out of first place. Here's our first team video from 8267 Riptide of Long Beach High School. In this robot and driver skill challenge, the robot had to maneuver quickly through a slalom course. Three, two, one, go! Hello and welcome to all teams, volunteers, mentors, coaches, and sponsors. My name is Bertram Dittmar. I'm executive director of our all volunteer organization, First Long Island. Our volunteers make it possible for all teams to participate in robotics events on Long Island this year, all virtual, next year, hopefully in person again. Sustainably financing these events year after year is made possible by generous support by our sponsors, 
and donations from individuals and affiliations. All believing in the cause of teaching students gracious professionalism, team spirit, learning from mistakes and 21st century skills. We would like to thank our sponsors regional and nationwide for their continuing support of our nonprofit organization by showing just a few videos of who they are and what they are doing related to science and technology. Thank you. My uh, middle son, Matt, was on a robotics team when he was in high school back in 2006, and uh, he invited me to one of his competitions. And so I went from there, and at that point, I got hooked. My dad was working for a local tech company at the time, and growing up, you think your dad does the coolest job in the world. When I first got involved with the team, I didn't really know what I wanted to do or how to do anything robotics related. I ended up following around some of the upperclassmen, seeing what they were doing. I started off with more of the mechanical side of things, and then I started moving more into the system integration aspect of it, eventually working with some of the mentors on, on some of the projects for the robot. I've been involved with FIRST for 14 years now. I didn't realize the energy and the passion that I was going to see walking into what amounted to a screaming stadium of people. It had a very sports-like feel to it. I wasn't really expecting the level of performance or the level of technology that I actually ended up seeing. There were these 130-pound behemoth robots driving around the field at 20 feet per second, smashing into each other. That first competition matched team very well. They actually ended up qualifying for the national championships that year, which are now called the World Championships. But we were unable to attend because we couldn't get the funding together for it. I thought that was really something my school district shouldn't be allowed to have happen to their teams. Each of the teams are set up like small companies. They're also on the edge of what it is they're trying to do. They're constantly pushing the performance of their teams and what it is their teams are capable of doing. Today, we support FIRST in multiple cities with volunteers, cash donations, and even technology. One of the ways we're looking at improving the spectator experience for FIRST is augmentation of the live streams to sort of provide that sports-like experience to these events. The DART system helps teams gain a competitive advantage by allowing them to evaluate driver performance, look at heat maps and location history data for their partners or their opponents, and overall increase their ability to compete. The DART system was a really cool addition that we had at SBBLI Regional, and it allowed us to sit down as a drive team and see what our driver was doing, at what location he was spending the most time. So if we saw that he was spending too much time placing a piece, we knew that that was something that he had to work on. So it was just a really great addition to have, and everybody on the team was really interested by it. Providing the students with the technology that we use helps provide them with real-world experience. In the end, it's all about allowing these kids to capture their performance edge, whether it's selecting an alliance partner or making a positive contribution in their future. For some, we hope they make that contribution at Zebra, driving innovation for us. In our second team score video, also from Long Beach, was this, it was a skill challenge called the Bounce Course where robots have to hit three targets without touching any of the short course markers. Okay, three, two, one, go. ourselves as a company that bets a lot on innovation and for us you know we're absolutely committed to do whatever we can to develop the future innovators right who one day will turn to be our employees. Altice is playing an active role in the development of the students, in the development of this program and also in the development of the employees who volunteer their time and effort to be here.
be able to give back to the community, to younger generations, I think is part of everyone's duty. So I think we feel very proud about our employees, you know, really taking on to this, this activity. These students are truly our future workforce. They are truly the next innovators. And as being an innovative company as Altice is, we look forward to uh, embracing this culture of innovation right here in our local area. Hi, I'm Frank Langro, the Director of Product Market Management at Festo Corp. I'm also a member of the Board of Directors for the nonprofit SBPLI First Long Island, as well as a First Long Island volunteer. Serving on the FRC Development Council and judging for both First Lego League and the First Robotics Competition. Congratulations to all the teams and students who have participated in the events this season. I can genuinely say from first-hand experience, great job. You should be proud of your work and accomplishments, and hopefully you had a lot of fun during this unusual season. Thanks to all the coaches and mentors who dedicate so much time to make it all happen. I was introduced to FIRST through my company, Festo. Festo is a global leader in industrial automation and has been supporting FIRST on Long Island since the inception of the FRC Long Island Regional in 1999. Festo has really seen things come full circle with the program as we have had a number of interns over the years who have participated in the FIRST programs and we also now have several employees who have gone through the program as well and now continue to give back and volunteer on all levels with FIRST Long Island. By its actions, Festo is truly a force for change. There's a new manufacturing revolution underway. And Festo is right in the middle of it. We're transforming the way people work. And the way companies compete. Our business is automation. But to us, it's more like an obsession. We operate with a simple, yet powerful manifesto. That automation isn't just about movement. It's about movement with purpose. Movement with purpose. Movement with purpose. It's about being a positive force for our customers. To supply not just innovative products, but expert advice and personalized service too. Best product plus best service. Movement with purpose. It's about helping people. Streamlining their production. Improving their quality and safety. And of course, increasing their ROI and profitability. Ultimately, it's about continuously stimulating progress. Our progress. And our customers' progress. Because when they win, we win. Are you ready to join the movement? Our final team video from 870 Team Rice in Southhold shows their ball targeting talents that won them a silver finalist award. Thirty seconds gone. Good.
Welcome to the launch of FRC's 2021 Awards Show, and congratulations to all of the students who participated in this year's competition. Certainly a challenging year. My name is Rich Hines, and I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Telefonics Corporation, a Long Island engineering company. We are proud to be sponsors of First Long Island, and I'm personally excited to be a member of their board of directors. Telefonics views our relationship with FIRST as a key component of our drive to help develop the next generation of Long Island engineers by engaging early and often with STEM-leaning students like yourselves. Initiatives like our summer internship program for FRC participants is an example of a win-win where students are exposed to real-world engineering activities and Telefonics gets an early view of potential future engineers. Once again, congratulations on all you have accomplished this year, and I hope you will enjoy this short video on Telefonics. We are Telefonix. Thank you. Heading uh, 330. It's amazing what can be done when the need is great. We're told, uh, Bravo Alpha. When time is of the essence and lives are on the line. Find a needle in a haystack of ocean, land, and sky. Communicate with clarity. We have load. Roger, she's coming. In a fog of noise. Safeguard the security of millions of travelers. 1.4 coming 5,000. Secure and protect a country's borders. Tell friend from foe in the blink of an eye. Now 1.7. And be the eyes and ears of heroes worldwide. The Angels 9, I'm going down to 3. We are Telephonics. And we're at our best when conditions are at their worst. Oh, master, down to 3, let's get out of here. From the production line to the front line, our surveillance, communications, and analysis solutions provide a tactical advantage in the most unpredictable environments. What we help our customers do today is truly amazing. Just imagine what we'll help them do tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks to all the teams and uh, sponsors who continue to support us. Next year, we hope we'll be able to have a live event and we look forward to doing that with all of you. And just a reminder, uh, please click on that other link that was made available to join the uh, Regional Award Show of New York and Quebec. Thanks very much. Bye.